I'm being thing. forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit no, me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're sir, not criminals! Please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Why are you saying right here? Oh, man. You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, You know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Sullivan City, Indiana, where we find Craig the Clown. That's my new name for him. You like it? I like it. Craig the Clown pretends that he's the police officer and questions a real police officer. Then he writes a bogus ticket. Now, I thought the cop was pretty well-natured because, you know, you can run into the wrong one, and this wouldn't turn out so well. I tell you, man. But at any rate, Craig is a clown for sure. Yeah, I don't know how he's getting so many clicks and views lately. It makes me wonder something's going on there because that, that channel was nothing. Now it's blown up. But anyway, let's all sit back, watch, and... <laughs> hey everybody, CH and Ty Audits here. In today's video, we were in Sullivan, Indiana, and we just saw this guy parked here in the school parking lot, so we figured we'd stop and see what this suspicious character was up to. Enjoy the video. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? you got your ID on your day for me. You want to see my ID? Yeah. Can I get your ID? Just... Just my badge number. Oh, okay. Uh, do you have your ID five. though, man? What is badge it? Number five. Five. Okay. Do you got your ID just so I know who I'm? Cause look, man, this is a deal. Anybody could put on the costume. You know yes, what I mean? Man. I'm not gonna play this game. No, this ain't a game. You got my badge number. You got my name. Okay. Have a good day. What are you leaving, sir? Do you have your ID on you today for me? This is look. You're being kind of. Resistant, you know what I mean? Well, I it's suspicious, dude. Look, most people just give them their ID. I told you who I was. Have a good day. So, are you like a special human? When have a good day, okay. All right, is there anything in this vehicle that I should know about today, man? Any drugs, weapons, uh, burner phones, anything like that? That just so I should know about them, you know what I mean, for my safety. Craig must have a big set asking a police officer these questions when he's been arrested more times than I can remember. And then he e-begged for cash that one time to get out of jail. He needed an attorney. What happened to all that uh, wacky tobacco money? Oh, that's right. I think they seized 50 grand from him when they arrested him. Woo, that had to hurt. 50 grand. Woo, woo, yeah, that had to hurt. Did you get our canine? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, you, you can go call, get it. Go ahead. Will you call the, will you call the guy with the dog? Man? 
All right, man. Uh, well, sir. like I said, I gave you my badge number. Okay. My name. What was your name? Have a good day. You have it recorded. You can go back I and look at it. I actually didn't hear it. You didn't cool. say it. Wanted to take this opportunity to point out that this guy is married to the job. Check out this ring. You can go back and look at it. Could you actually, could you, now that you've done, can you look at it and see if he gave us his name, man? I don't think he gave us his name. Look, man, I'm just, I don't know why you're being difficult, man. If he just cooperated, we'll be out of your hair in about two minutes. You know what I mean? That's all it takes. Just a little cooperation. We're just, do, no, man, look, I get you think it's funny. We're just doing I, our jobs. I actually find it quite hilarious. Okay. Okay. So, and that's your, that's your right, man. I'm just trying to do my right, job. You're right. You know? Okay. Have a good day. I'm having a great day. Okay. Well, enjoy the rest of it. Okay. Um, if you want to film, you can, you can back up and film, but if you don't need anything from me, I don't need anything from you. So I'm asking you just to step back. That's all I'm asking. I okay, don't... man. Can I just ask you, can you just go ahead and take off? No, I'm going to sit right here. You know, for a guy that's been arrested numerous times and has spent time behind bars, I mean some time. Yeah, he's really got a smart mouth, and I consider him an anarchist. I really do. He does not want to obey the laws of society. He's one of these guys that would prefer that we have no police officers in American society. Imagine the anarchy then. Imagine our American society if criminals knew they could do whatever they wanted and nobody was going to stop them. Well, the homeowners would definitely be armed to the teeth. That's for sure. Hey, Craig, what do you think about that, baby boy? Okay, then I'm going to sit right here. I'm, I'm allowed to sit right here. I'm allowed to sit here, okay. too. You're right. You are. But you can't be over here harassing people. Harassing a public employee? <laughs> but you don't need anything from me. I do. I need your okay. ID. Just and, so and I now, know. Because, man, I, I don't know that you're a police officer. Right now, you're just wearing the costume. Let's make, bro, will you just keep your eye on him here? You just, I'm going to kind of go around the vehicle and check, check out his, uh, his info here. All right, so he's got the body camera. Oh, he's got an Indiana criminal code right there. All right, we like to see that. We got anything, uh. Okay. Got a couple of phones. Wouldn't be surprised if there was a burner. You got a burner in there? Okay. Yeah. Man, look. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was just on my way to grab some lunch. This is Craig's partner, T.Y. I don't know what the T.Y. stands for. Like C.H. stands for Craig. I won't say his last name, Doxon, but yeah. Man, it looks like this guy been eating a bit too much Taco Bell. Woo, man. You need to get out and walk that off, bro. Yeah. But anyway, let's get back to the story. Well, when I see a suspicious person sitting here, I got to come check it out. Do you know what I mean? Man, look, just cooperate so I can get out of here and go grab some lunch. About to go hit that Mexican spot down there near Farmersburg. You know what I'm talking about, El Patron. Sir, are you talking to somebody in there that ain't nobody that I see? Are you on drugs? And he's drinking. He's drinking while he's on the while he's on the job. I don't know if that's an alcoholic beverage or if that's not an alcoholic beverage. Okay. Hey man, look. I don't want to have to do this, man. Let's just cooperate. We can all get along. You know what I mean? I'll be out of your hair here soon, dude. Like, I get it, dude. You don't want to cooperate? All right, but when I try to investigate, I need you to stop trying to retaliate. No respect at all for law enforcement. 
I remember last summer when Greg was in the pokey. Uh, well, was the slammer, more or less. Yeah, slammer and pokey are the same thing, except slammer, yeah, you know, it's a little more, uh, how shall we say, uh, uh, to the point, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, he was complaining the air conditioner wasn't working. Yeah, I guess you worked up a sweat after being with Bubba and the boys for a couple of hours, huh? You want your mommy? Did you want your mommy, Craig? Oh, man, I would just never think of disrespecting law enforcement like this. They keep our society safe. They're the, they're the fabric that holds our society together, you stupid idiot. All right. I will not hesitate. I mean, look, there's the easy way or there's the hard way. Do you get what I mean? It's your choice. He's <laughs> probably tired of on us on the phone. He is. These guys are harassing me. Be honest, man, I don't appreciate when you don't cooperate. So, man, I've been hearing some reports that you guys have been stealing people's weed out here. Do y'all smoke a lot? Have you been the one that's been stealing people's weed? Smoking a little bit? Man, look, I'm cool. If you're just smoking a little weed, I'm not going to... I'm not going to report or anything. I'm just trying to do my job, man. You get what I'm saying? He's got his sunglasses on. That's a clear sign that he's been smoking. Yeah, I find it rather ironic that Craig, who was arrested in jail on wacky tobacco charges, would accuse an officer of doing the same thing. What a dimwit. Yeah, that's the face that only a mother could love. Does your mama love you, Craig? Or did she give you up for adoption when you were born? That's what it is. That's what it is. Craig's family didn't want him. And now look how he turned out. He's on wacky tobacco and his brain is fried on you know what. Well, you carry on, sweetheart, because we love you a long time, okay? Sir, if you could just take them sunglasses off for me real quick. Just let me see if your eyes are bloodshot or not. Any chance you'd cooperate? So have you, so you have been smoking? And you get that your, your parked, your parking job here is awful. I'm just trying to put it politely. If I was parked like this in a public parking lot, I can almost guarantee you I'd get charged money for it. You just do it freely with impunity. No ramifications. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a clear parking violation. A few minutes later. All right, so this is a ticket. We're going we're gonna to let him off easy today. We're just charging him $60. We didn't like his parking. He's clearly outside of the lines here. So we're going to have to, uh, we're gonna have to serve him today, have him sign the ticket. Sir, can I help you, Bailey? Yeah, man, so I've got this here for you. Okay. If you could just, sir, roll the window down. Sir, I'm not gonna tell you again, roll the window down. Each and every video I've seen of Craig, he's always laughing, smiling, and yucking it up when the police come because he thinks it's a big joke. I predict that one day something's going to happen at Craig's house or he's going to be out in public and he's going to need the police. And of course they'll respond, but then when they find out who it is, they may be less than motivated to help him. At least that's what I hope happens, but, you know, police aren't like that. They put their lives on the line each and every day for all members of our society. Even a dirtbag clown like Craig. It's sad, isn't it? Cooperate. Stop resisting! 
Oh, the freaking usual manners of uh, getting them to cooperate aren't working. Sir, if you don't sign this, you're going to be held in contempt of auditors. Do you understand me today? You're hurting my feelings, sir. Please stop being a, bum a bumbling jackass. Roll the window down, sir. Servant! Do you hear me, boy? Roll that window down! Stop playing these games with me, son! What are you doing? Craig reminds me of our university law scholar, Chili. He wants to push buttons and see how far he can go. Well, I tell you, man, one day, one day soon, I hope, man, you'll get the wrong one on the wrong day at the wrong time. Woo, and it's not going to be pretty. I hope you upload that video, Craig. Don't keep that to yourself. The world wants to see you get clocked. We saw it once before. All right, sir. I don't know your name. I don't know where I can reach you. I'm just going to put this here ticket under your windshield wiper. Okay. You got 30 days to pay that, all right? Okay, if you want to appeal it and you want to get a hearing, you can contact, use the contact information provided on the ticket, and you can get a hold of us there to request a hearing, okay? Okay, you have a good day now. Don't be putting stuff on my car, okay? Calm down, short guy. Yeah, that's a ticket, that's a parking ticket. You understand me? Take that's, your ticket that's back. That's not my ticket, man. Take it back. Not my ticket. Take it back. I'm gonna need you to sign that for Here. Me. Hold it while here. I'll get my pen. Don't put that on my car, okay? Okay, well then take the ticket. I won't have to. Don't put it on my car. Hey, if you won't take the ticket, man, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put it on your car. You got your pen? What are you gonna do if I put it on your car, buddy? Hey, short, short stuff, short stack. Now Craig wants to insult the man. Hey, hey Craig, hey Craig, you remember that SS symbol you put on your uh, your landing page there on uh, YouTube and then you refused to discuss it with me and said, oh, oh, that's, uh, I didn't do that, uh, Dave, you're a snowflake. Yeah, we all know what those lightning bolts are, man. Yeah, so on top of everything else, you're a Nazi supporter. You're a white supremacist. Not to worry, Craig. There's nothing to be ashamed about. It's okay. Just admit it and move on, man. We know. That's okay, man. You could be uh, aligned with Hitler and nobody's going to say anything. Yeah, we know you're a piece of trash, Craig. It's okay. Don't worry about it, man. You're a pile of trash. It's okay. What, what are you going to do about it? If you got a problem with me, man, you can just figure it out right now. <laughs> the reason I did not put the piece of paper back under his windshield wiper was because I didn't know if that was technically against the law if somebody has notified you that they don't want it there. Man, look, I'm going to leave this on your car, okay? <laughs> Let me actually look this up, just make sure you can't arrest anybody for doing that. Hey, man. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey, sir. Sir. 
Stop resisting! Well, there you have it, folks. You have to be a real jack wagon off your medications to do something like that. Why? What's the purpose? And he laughed the entire time, which lets me know the boy does have some mental issues. Yeah, I don't think he takes his meds. I really don't. Or it could be he's on that wacky tobacco again. Could be. Well, at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Craig. You and your sidekick, T.Y. Yeah, a bunch of idiots, man. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So many. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, yo, you're racist. Racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just permit? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar. Hark noik on the crowd! Ula wala fufatai!